Okay. Yeah. Uh, today I'll explain about uh, Photoshop interface. Right. So when you open the Photoshop, uh, this will display. This is what uh, start page. Start page of the Photoshop. Okay. These are all uh, uh, recent works. My recent works are displaying here. Right. And here. Uh, suppose if you click here name by name by size and by kind so this will shows okay the size wise file size wise and uh, suppose the same kind of uh, the design related stuff same design related stuff that shows so okay recent I'm clicking here and if you observe here here the new file is there the new file are open if you want to open anything okay this is home and for learning if you want to learn you can connect with the internet learn and your file shared with you and lightroom suppose these are latest one i'm using uh, to 24 okay so uh, first let's uh, open the new file right just click on that see this is your uh, new document settings okay here's it the recent items and saved items photo and for print art and illustration web mobile and film and video what are these these are the documents new ready-made documents just like templates right so suppose uh, the recent items the recently used right templates these are and these are uh, saved nothing saved okay and for photo uh, if you are a photographer or a uh, studio person photo studio person these are the ready-made uh, uh, setups these are right uh, file sizes and suppose if you want to print a landscape landscape uh, a default of photoshop size so these are the settings actually right these are the uh, templates these are on and suppose for print if you are planning your design for uh, a printing purpose you are a designer graphic designer so these are the templates for you and if you want to see here a uh, view all presets these are the presets right all the sizes the b size papers are there c size paper d size paper about papers and paper sizes there is a special uh, a class is there i'll explain about papers right okay and uh, these are art and illustration suppose you are planning uh, for art you are planning for art or digital painting or whatever it is so these are the sizes thousand pixels grid right so you can use thousand by thousand two thousand by two thousand are you this size or this size whatever it is so these are the templates again okay and then for a web you are a web designer suppose you are a web designer you are planning for the uh, web page web most commonly used sizes these are so web large web medium a web minimum these are the sizes standard sizes these are these are means what standard sizes and you can check here uh, view all presets these are all uh, presets right and suppose the mobile apps you are UN UX designer you are suppose you are planning for the screen uh, resolution or screen uh, design right for the iPhone so models these are different different uh, screen sizes for iPad Pro these are and view all presets again these are see for the android a phone so this is 1080 into 1920 full hd this means right so these are all uh, different is apple watch see these are all different different uh, uh, templates so ready-made templates and the popular uh, template sizes right you can click here and you can use the settings here right okay and you are planning for the film and video suppose you are uh, you want to work in video editing or after effects so these are the file uh, uh, setting right hdtv and uh, full hdtv and these are the settings okay so okay keep this as it is Lee. and suppose here uh, we go with a, a print okay so print that to i'll take a4 size this is my a4 size and give the name suppose these are the preset details the preset details are there So, uh, give name here. Uh, suppose this this is what interface. Interface, or otherwise 
<coughs> give any name example like right okay see here uh, the width the default width the default means a force is already we took so it is showing in uh, millimeters right so if you click on that uh, arrow button so you can convert your millimeters into pixels okay your a force uh, if you convert into pixels yeah this is and again you can convert into inches suppose this is inches and it is uh, centimeters suppose right the centimeters and again here millimeters and millimeters and the points and picas these points picas and millimeters these are uh, european standard size measuring uh, method okay so mm, we understand easily in inches and uh, of course centimeters also right you can convert this into inches so your a4 size to convert into inches now it is showing 8.268 by 11.693 and here it is um, file orientation file orientation means what how you are planning your design vertically or horizontally right this is and here it is artboard so okay later on we'll check artboards okay and uh, the resolution see the resolution here in default it is showing 300 because already we took in a4 size for printer right so it is showing in 300 resolution if you want you can change this right for timing uh, keep this as it is and suppose here are uh, showing pixels per inch you want pixels per inch or otherwise pixels per centimeter okay so what is pixels i already explained the uh, previous lesson we can uh, check with them with the class and we'll understand right so pixels are what the tiny dots like so the image your image is composed combined by these uh, pixels right so here it is asking pixels per inch right so keep this as it is li and this rgb color so here we have bitmap grayscale rgb cmyk and lab colors so photoshop default color mode is rgb okay so if you want to uh, change this later also you can change this right so keep this for timing as it is rgb and 8 bit see here 8 bit 16 bit 32 bit what are this see these are bits and bytes suppose the bit bit is what uh, the bit can uh, describe or uh, bit can explain the color uh, depth of the picture right so the 8 bit channel 8 bit depth is enough to form a exact uh, uh, realistic uh, uh, color to form exact realistic color 8 bit is enough right so keep this as it is li this also no need to change this and the background content <coughs> so background is in white in default if you want to change this into black or background color okay right let us check as it is li background and the uh, color profile this also no need to a uh, change these are all <coughs> coloring codes color uh, profiles keep this as it is li right and suppose here there are uh, option is there advanced options if you click on that the below portions are visible okay these are square pixels the pixels how you want a square or uh, different kind of pixels you want right the square pixels keep this as it is li and with these settings with this name you you are going to create this one right create now see this is created okay see this one here i am using my uh, middle scroll button by mouse okay yeah that is it suppose this is interface first we have to understand interface what is interface actually interface is nothing but what all softwares in each and every software has interface okay interface explains about uh, the arrangement of the tools and panels and uh, other uh, properties right so uh, before uh, starting your uh, any software it's better to understand the functionality of the software right so what is this this white paper this is called what document which document this is photoshop document pst photoshop document right okay then this this left side uh, this 
these are the tools okay and here it is the top one here uh, this is the home button right if you click on that you are going to uh, see your first actual the first start page right okay okay then come back and see here it is uh, the row displaying here uh, this is menu bar okay so file menu edit menu image layer type select filter view plugins and window and help these are the menu bar under menu bar the second row is displaying what optional bar see optional bar is what when you click on any uh, tool that related tool extra options it shows so it shows extra tools available tool options will display here right okay and come to this right side this right side these are all here displaying your panels side panels suppose here you click here it's showing what brush settings and suppose brushes okay and there is a two arrow marks are there when you click on this it's going inside popping up and coming out right so these are all. see these are all. okay and suppose see here swatches are there and gradients are there the patterns are say patterns are there so there when you click on this arrow mark here it is expanding moving forward and when you click the other one also it is going inside and outside so it is popping up and popping in okay so uh, i want to see the whole uh, the document proper document and uh, uh, the display area so click on this go back to normal okay these panels are already opened here see the color panel is there so beside that there is swatches and gradient and patterns see swatches gradient and patterns the same row here side by side this is displaying if you want you can drag and drop anywhere right so these are all detaching right so you can attach and detach see here can drag and move this side and that side and see these are all about layers and all see these are all okay you can attach and detach and sometimes when you work on uh, projects or any design okay so you just move this side or that side suppose here the tools are there you move this this side and here the two dots the arrow marks are showing just click on that it is convert into two rows right the two rows or otherwise click on this and again it is becoming a one row okay okay these are the things and what uh, suppose the, these panels where we find actually uh, from menu the window is there see these are all tick marks are showing the patterns gradients and color these are all here right is already opened here these are when you click on the new things suppose uh, here i'm using info or otherwise history just click on that again history is displayed here right when you click one by one all so suppose see these are all displaying okay that means what you are filling uh, your whole workspace with the, uh, this panels different different plans right? it looks very clumsy to avoid that one what you can keep as it is lay into uh, the normal position right okay we'll do that later and suppose in the top the right side here there is uh, a button here showing what this is a workspace just click on that uh, right now it is in essential workspace okay essential after that essential means what the display default uh, photoshop uh, interface right and suppose you are a graphic designer or web designer right for designers there is a special a uh, workspace is there see your workspace is at uh, displayed here so mostly these designers they work with uh, different fonts and text so it is displayed and suppose here you click here and again here it motion so sometimes few animations limited animations uh, animators can do so for them the timeline is displaying okay that is timeline and this is what a painting the digital painting artist 
for their convenience, for their purpose, for their easy uh, to handle Photoshop or the digital painting works, uh, the display is showing the right side, right here. Okay, no need to go inside. Suppose there is a brush, so click the brush and no need to go inside the brushes and all. So here only on uh, a screen, the right side it is displaying, right? So and again, suppose uh, you are looking for the photography, okay? Photography, yeah. Suppose you are a photographer, suppose, right? So the photographer's space is there. You can convert and you can use all these photograph related uh, settings right here see there are uh, reset photography so you can uh, new workspace so you can create your new workspace suppose give the name suppose this is new workspace okay you can give the name and otherwise delete workspace already you created workspace if you want to delete just you can apply this delete workspace right and suppose see this is uh, essentials again i'm giving See your essential portion, everything has been changed, right? So you already modified. So sometimes what will happen? So mm, no need to drag all these things to into normal, right? Instead of that, simply what we do, go to this uh, workspace area and here reset essentials. This, it is in essentials and you can click on the reset essential button and see all these things all these panels and uh, uh, the toolbar normally it is displayed okay so uh, these are the uh, the main uh, uh, workspace right uh, for the uh, photoshop and in the next class i'll explain about all uh, uh, tools okay so thank you